my, my time's expired, but I have one last question, and I think that's important. Um, at this point, based on everything, do you think that any laws were broken by Hillary Clinton or her lawyers? Do I think that any laws were broken? Yep. I don't think there's evidence to establish that. Okay. Well, I think you're making my point when you say there's no evidence to establish that. Maybe not in the way she handled classified information, but with respect to obstruction of justice. And you've got a pen here. I just want to make sure the record's clear about the evidence that you didn't have, that you can't use to prove. So this comes from the FBI's own report. It says that the FBI didn't have the Clinton's personal Apple server used for Hillary Clinton work emails. That was never located, so the FBI could never examine it. An Apple MacBook laptop and thumb drive that contained Hillary Clinton's email archives was lost, so the FBI never examined that. Two BlackBerry devices provided the FBI didn't have SIM cards or SD data cards. Thirteen Hillary Clinton personal mobile devices were lost, discarded, or destroyed with a hammer, so the FBI clearly didn't examine those. Various server backups were deleted over time, so the FBI didn't examine that. After the State Department and my colleague Mr. Gowdy here notified Ms. Clinton that her records would be sought by the Benghazi Committee, copies of her emails on the laptops of both of her lawyers, Cheryl Mills and Harold Mills, uh, and Heather Samuelson, were wiped clean with bleach bits, so the FBI didn't review that. After those emails were subpoenaed, Hillary Clinton's email archive was also permanently deleted from the Platte River Network with bleach bit, so the FBI didn't review that. And also after the subpoena, backups of the Platte River server were manually deleted. Now, Director, hopefully that list is substantially accurate because it comes from your own documents. My question to you is this. Any one of those in that very, very long list to me says obstruction of justice. Collectively, they scream obstruction obstruction of justice and to ignore them i think really allows not just reasonable ro prosecutors but reasonable people to believe that maybe the decision on this was made a long time ago not to prosecute